Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing good this evening. I hope everything's going well. Well, it's kind of towards the end of the day. The ladies are getting ready to go to bed, but I wanted to share this with you because uh, this is something, it's starting to happen to me and you know, I'm always encouraging people to get animals. I'm always, you know, gardening and animals. And so I want to share this. If you have just begun raising chickens, if you got them this spring or summer, you might not realize that this is happening. And so I want I just want to kind of go over some things and, and give you a solution if this does happen to you. So <clears throat> we're in the, you know, fall, getting ready to, to get into winter and the way I feed my chickens, I do it a little different uh, in the fall and winter. That's maybe for another video, but I noticed that some of the eggs were getting uh, thin shelled. They were starting to crack. Uh, and you will always have eggs that crack. That's just part of it. And at first I didn't give it a lot of thought. It was just like one egg. Well, then I noticed I was washing them uh, last Saturday and I didn't grab it hard and it just it just came apart in my hands. So I knew I got a calcium deficiency and it happens uh, not every year maybe, but around this time of the year is when you're probably going to see it because if you free range your chickens, they're used to getting bugs and grubs and things like that. Well, now that's not as plentiful. So you have to do something to, to make up for that. Take a look at this egg. That's a big egg. Now, this is one of my more normal size eggs. So you can see, this is a pretty big egg. This eggshell is made up of 95% calcium carbonate. The other 5% is made up of various proteins that just kind of help hold everything together. So, guys, here's what's going to happen if you uh, get calcium deficiency in your chickens. Their, their shells will get thin, they'll start cracking. If it gets worse, they'll actually start eating their own eggs. And once they get into that habit, that's a tough one to break. You don't want that to happen. I've never seen it personally, but uh, I have heard that they can actually lay an egg that doesn't have a shell. It's just got that inner membrane. And then eventually, they're just gonna stop laying. So it is very serious, but there's an easy, easy fix for it, cheap. You guys, eggshells. I just save their eggshells and I just feed it right back to them. Now, you can do this a couple different ways. You can mix it right in with their feed. Uh, you, can, you can free choice and just put it in a bowl. Uh, either way, If you give them eggshells, <clears throat> guys, you can give them oyster shell, you can, a lot of other things, but it costs money. This is free. This is part of that self-sustainability that I love about raising animals. Taking stuff that you already have, uh, you know, and using it for something else. Normally, I would be telling you to put these eggshells in your compost or in your garden. Um, but guys, now uh, I'm going to give them to my chickens. Next spring, I'm going to put them in my garden. Well, that's the video. I hope it helps. Um, you guys have a good night, and I'm going to let these gals go to sleep. Hey, I'll talk to you later. See ya.